The next report to open is the journal for the month of March. Zero three zero one nineteen zero three thirty one nineteen tab to refresh. Should get a total of twenty eight thousand eighty one dollars and thirty eight cents for debits and credits. Next is the balance sheet. Company and financial balance sheet standard. And it's for the end of the period, which is March 31st, 03-31-19, tab refresh. So the only thing different about this balance sheet from the previous chapters is now that we're selling inventory, notice under other current assets, we've got our inventory accounts, inventory carpets, draperies, lamps, and mirrors. And these dollar amounts, like $800 for carpets, that's how much the carpets cost us. In other words, the carpets that we still have in stock, they cost us 800 bucks. So hopefully when we sell them, we will charge more than $800. And the next thing we need to open up is a profit and loss standard. But this time they want it for the first quarter of 2019. Quarter means three months, so the first three months are 010119, so January 1st to the end of March, 033119, tab to refresh. And the thing that's new, a couple things that are new now that we're selling inventory, notice we've got cost of goods sold. So this $1,200 for carpets means that of all the carpets that we sold, it cost us $1,200 to purchase those carpets that we sold. And how much revenue did we generate from selling those carpets? Well, that's up here, 2400 And the other thing that's new is we've got this gross profit amount. Remember, gross profit is revenue, which for QuickBooks is called total income, minus cost of goods sold, which is a total of 2900 gives us our gross profit. And you should have a net income of $8,285 and 38 cents. And that's it.